Elon Musk's SpaceX Starlink is currently hitting an impressive 200 megabits per second, even in war-torn Ukraine. So there's a fair chance you'll have it faster wherever you are when you run the Starlink speed test. But aside from hoisting your dish high into the skies, there are other ways you can get faster Starlink internet. And we'll give you these tips in this video. Satellite internet like Starlink isn't always as fast as fixed broadband internet, especially in the United States. Still, for a relatively new technology like Starlink, it is quite impressive that it has posted faster download speeds than fixed broadband services in countries like France and Germany. That's according to research done by Speedist Net recently, and I'm pretty sure that Starlink's recently launched Starlink Premium would comfortably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with fixed broadband internet even in the US, given its reported 150 to 500 megabits per second download speed. But Starlink Premium hardware is priced at $2,500 and costs $500 per month. Yeah. However, you can always go for the standard Starlink package for $499 and $99 monthly, although you probably won't get as fast internet speed as the Premium. Nonetheless, you should also know that the standard package is quite comfortably faster than competing satellite internet providers primarily because Starlink satellites orbit much closer to Earth than competing satellites, which is why you must take advantage of one particular tip, especially. But for now, let's quickly get into the first tip. Number 3. Rid the obstacles. Your Starlink kit will most likely include a dish, otherwise known as a terminal, as well as a router, a mounting tripod, cables, a power supply. First, you'd have to connect the dish to the tripod, and then you connect the dish and the router to the power supply using the appropriate cables. But even before you connect the cables, make sure you mount the dish in a suitable place. Usually, your rooftop generally works. Now, here's a word of caution. Make sure your screws and nails are fixed super tight. You don't want your dish falling off in the middle of your sleep. Worst thing is you might not even see it when you wake up, even if it gets damaged. Trust me, it's pretty valuable stuff, especially in Ukraine right now. By the way, talking about valuable stuff, I'm sure you will find it very valuable to subscribe to this channel, because we have all the latest and exclusive content in tech. You'll enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Now, you can also enjoy fast Starlink internet if you want. Ensure as much as possible that the dish has a clear view of the sky without any obstacles such as trees, phone lines, and any other obstacle that may be a hindrance. Note that Starlink satellites orbit much closer to Earth than most satellite internet providers, and so ensuring that your dish gets a clear view of the sky is one way to boost your internet speed faster. Additionally, you can also tap into the fact that Starlink satellite are literally within touching distance from the sky by getting your dish closer to it. But hold that thought, I'll explain more on this soon. So sit tight and keep watching. Then again, Starlink helps with the whole process of getting your dish a clear view of the sky. Download the Starlink app on your iOS or Android device, and you'll be able to do that with the aid of an augmented reality tool. It works pretty well, to be honest. Number 2. Mount as high as possible. Starlink's model is based on providing high-speed internet to the remotest of places through a constellation of satellites that orbit the Earth. And since its launch in 2019, SpaceX, Starlink's parent company, has already launched about 2,000 satellites into space with plans of raising that number to 42,000 in the future. Now, here's how it all works. The satellites communicate to ground stations and gateways across the world, and the internet is supplied from these gateways to the satellites and finally to your dish. So the closer your dish is to the satellite, the better your internet reception. And luckily, Starlink satellites orbit the Earth at a 340-mile altitude, which means that the satellites are comfortably closer to Earth than Viasat and HughesNet, two of Starlink's competitors. Therefore, the tip is to mount your dish as high as possible, thereby getting it closer to the satellites. Hence, better communication between the satellites and your dish. You know what, if you've had the time, you can do a quick experiment by mounting your dish on your roof and then running a speed test. Then, mount your dish in your car park or anywhere with a clear view of the sky from ground level and then run another speed test. 
Remember to record your speeds at the end of the speed test and then compare the results. And O oh, speed tests are also a great tip to help improve your Starlink's internet speed. But I'll tell you more about how exactly in greater detail soon, so keep watching. My guess is that after your little experiment, you're going to have a first-hand illustration of how mounting your dish as high as possible is one of the best ways to get your Starlink to work faster. Maybe you'd even want to relocate to 100th floor of the nearest high-rise building in your neighborhood. Ew, it'll be worth it, I think. Number 1. Run regular speed tests Finally, try running a speed test as regularly as possible. It helps you stay on top of your internet speed limit in order to know how best to maximize it. For instance, Regular speed tests will give you an inkling into when best to perform heavy downloads or uploads, depending on when your speed test records deem it favorable. Also, a reduction in speed, as proven by your speed test, might indicate a potential obstacle preventing your dish from obtaining a clear view from the sky, and of course, you'll then go fix it. Additionally, it can indicate a problem with your router, or even the cables, whichever way, performing regular speed tests help indicate when there is a particular problem. These speed tests are conducted primarily from the Starlink app, which also shows you important information such as latency and upload speed to help you know where you are in terms of internet speed. You can contact Starlink from your app if you can't seem to solve any problem you might have by yourself. Customer service is quite good. I bet it is better than that of your internet service provider, but you must be patient. Anyway. Hop in the comments and tell us about the kind of customer service your service provider gives you. Let's see if it matches up to Starlink. This should be interesting. Starlink just recently launched their all-new premium kit, which comes with a square dish and improved internet speed, as I've already mentioned, so they aren't slowing down at all. Don't slow down in watching our videos either. Check out our video on how fast is Starlink speed test in middle of Russia invasion. Let's find out it is an intriguing watch, so be sure to give it a watch. See you in our next video. Thanks for watching.